I'm Amy Gardner, national political reporter for The Washington Post. On Wednesday here in Charlotte, the Obama campaign announced that it would be moving President Obama's big speech on Thursday night from the Bank of America Stadium indoors to this arena, the Time Warner Cable Arena in Charlotte, where much of the convention activity has been taking place. The outdoor stadium is huge. It was expected to attract as many as 75,000 spectators, whereas the capacity here indoors is closer to 20,000. It was going to be a big moment to show that the Obama campaign has attracted the same energy enthusiasm that he did four years ago. Staging is an important part of campaigning. Uh, four years ago, President Obama accepted his party's nomination in Denver, flanked by Greek columns. He was later uh, mocked for those columns, which at the time were seen as a symbol of classical hope and optimism, uh, classical ideals, but which later came to symbolize for some people what the Obama the presidency hasn't lived up to. Today, the president has a different task, which is to persuade Americans to give him another term to continue his presidency and live up to some of the promises that he made four years ago. Staging is still, nonetheless, a big part of the Obama campaign operation. He's been out on the campaign trail virtually nonstop this summer, talking about wind energy on a wind farm in Iowa, talking about federal drought relief in a cornfield. Staging doesn't always go as planned. Uh, President Obama appeared in Roanoke, Virginia in July uh, at a beautiful scene in front of a historic firehouse in downtown Roanoke, Virginia. It was a hot, steamy night. The president was tired when he made the now infamous you didn't build that comment that Republicans have been criticizing him for. One thing is sure, with President Obama speaking in this site on Thursday evening, the emphasis is going to be a little bit more on the message than on the scene.